Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at the 2001 fantasy adventure film The Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring directed by Peter Jackson and starring among others Sir Christopher Lee, Elijah Wood and Sir Ian McKellen. Let's begin. In the second age of Middle Earth, the lords of elves, dwarves and men are given rings of power. Unbeknownst to them, the Dark Lord Sauron forges the One Ring in Mount Doom, instilling into it a greater part of his power to dominate the other rings and conquer Middle-earth. A final alliance of men and elves battles Sauron's forces in Mordor. Isildur of Gondor severs Sauron's finger and the ring with it, thereby vanquishing Sauron and returning him to spirit form. With Sauron's first defeat, the Third Age of Middle-earth begins. The ring's influence corrupts Isildur, who takes it for himself and is later killed by orcs. The ring is lost in a river for 2,500 years until it is found by Gollum, who owns it for over four and a half centuries. The ring abandons Gollum and is subsequently found by a hobbit named Bilbo Baggins, who is unaware of its history. Sixty years later, Bilbo celebrates his 111th birthday in the Shire, reuniting with his old friend, the wizard Gandalf the Grey. Bilbo departs the Shire for one last adventure, and he leaves his inheritance, including the ring, to his nephew Frodo. Gandalf investigates the ring, discovers its true nature, and learns that Gollum was captured and brutally tortured by Sauron's orcs, revealing two worlds during his interrogation, Shire and Baggins. Gandalf returns and warns Frodo to leave the Shire. As Frodo departs, his friend, gardener Samwise Gamgee, Gandalf, rides to Isengard to meet with the wizard Saruman, but discovers his betrayal and alliance with Sauron, who has dispatched his nine undead Nazgul servants to find Frodo. Frodo and Sam are joined by fellow hobbits Merry and Pippin and they evade the Nazgul before arriving in Bree, where they are meant to meet Gandalf at the Inn of the Prancing Pony. However, Gandalf never arrives, having been taken prisoner by Saruman. The hobbits are then aided by a ranger named Strider, who promises to escort them to Rivendell. However, they are ambushed by the Nazgul on Weathertop, and the leader of the Witch King stabs Frodo with a Morgul blade. Arwen, an elf and Strider's beloved, locates Strider and rescues Frodo summoning floodwaters that sweep the Nazgul away. She takes him to Rivendell, where he is healed by the elves. Frodo meets with Gandalf, who escaped Isengard on a great eagle. That night, Strider reunites with Arwen, and they reaffirm their love for each other. Learning of Saruman's betrayal from Gandalf, and now realizing that they are facing threats from both Sauron and Saruman, Arwen's father, Lord Elrond, decides against keeping the ring in Rivendell. He has a council of elves, men and dwarves, and also attended by Frodo and Gandalf, that decide that the ring must be destroyed in the fires of Mount Doom. Frodo volunteers to take the ring, accompanied by Gandalf, Sam, Merry, Pippin, Elf, Legolas, Dwarf Gimli, Boromir of Gondor, and Strider, who is actually Aragorn, Isildur's heir and the rightful king of Gondor. Bilbo, now living in Rivendell, gives Frodo his sword Sting and a chainmail shirt made of mithril. <clears throat> the Fellowship of the Ring makes for the Gap of Rohan, but discovers it is being watched by Saruman's spies. They instead set off over the mountain pass of Karadras, but Saruman summons a storm that forces them to travel through the mines of Moria, where a tentacled water beast blocks off the entrance with the fellowship inside, giving them no choice but to journey to the exit on the other end. After finding the dwarves of Moria dead, the fellowship is attacked by orcs and a cave troll. They hold them off, but are confronted by Durin's Bane, a balrog residing within the mines. While the others escape, Gandalf fends off the Balrog and casts it into a vast chasm, but the Balrog drags Gandalf down into the darkness with him. The devastated Fellowship reaches Lothlorien, ruled by the elf queen Galadriel, who privately informs Frodo that only he can complete the quest, and that the one of the Fellowship will try to take the ring. <coughs> She also shows him a vision of the future in which Sauron succeeds in enslaving Middle-earth, including the Shire. 
Meanwhile, Saruman creates an army of Urukai in Isengard to find and kill the Fellowship. The Fellowship travels by river to Path Galen. Frodo wanders off and is confronted by Boromir, who, as Lady Galadriel had warned, tries to take the ring. Urukai scouts then ambush the Fellowship. Their leader, Lurtz, mortally wounds Boromir as he fails to stop them from capturing Merry and Pippin. Aragorn arrives and kills Lurtz before confronting Boromir as he dies, comforting Boromir as he dies, promising to help the people of Gondor in the coming conflict. Fearing the ring will corrupt his friends, Modo dis- Frodo decides to travel to Mordor alone, but allows Sam to come along, recalling his promise to Gandalf to look after him. As Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli set out to rescue Merry and Pippin, Frodo and Sam make their way down the mountain pass of Emil Muil, journeying on to Mordor. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below letting me know which movie you'd like to see me do next and what you thought of this movie. Thank you so much for watching, take care and goodbye.